Hello everybody, my name is Brady, and today I am joined once again by the Bird Mom. And today we're going to be doing another snack crate video. So if you haven't seen the snack crate videos, we get this little snack crate, and they send us snacks from a random country. We don't have any choice as to what country we get. I think that should be clarified going forward. You can request us to do a country, but it's really, we're at the mercy of snack crate in this case. Uh, the only one we had the choice for was the first one. Everything going forward is going to be completely random. So we haven't seen what's inside the box yet. You excited? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm hungry. I don't usually do these videos hungry. Do you want to do the honors of uh, opening up the snack crate? Ooh. Okay, so this one was... Uh, they, they hint at it, because when they uh, ship it to you, the label will actually say uh, hello in whatever language uh, the country happens to speak. We have Spain here, and it said, hola, Brady, uh, which it's a fun little touch here. Um, so I, I, I guess we could just, do you want to go on your side, my side? Yeah, it's good. You got more space on your side. Uh, do you want to pick, oh, we got our little... Uh, little guide thing that we did not consult in our first one, but we've been consulting since. It's, it's very good when we don't know what these things are. Do you want to pick our first snack? Well, we have two bags of chips right on top. We always have to start with a bag of chips, because, like, I guess in shipping they probably have to put the chips on top. Uh, so, here we go. We got El Val Sabor Huevo Frito. Uh, excuse pronunciation, the more foreign these places become to us, uh, the less likely I'm gonna say this correctly. Uh, but these are chips and they have a fried egg taste. I, I could see that working out okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring the scissors again. Ah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'll, oh, my hole's not big enough. Okay, here you go. It, it smells vaguely fried egg-y, so, bottoms up. Hmm. Mm. That's a fried egg. It's accurate. Uh, when you fry the egg, like, sometimes it'll get kind of crispy and around the edges. It tastes like those little, little crunchy edges. <laughs> um, that's not bad. I might have it those. I, I don't I don't know if you will, no, but I'm I, looking for I, chip. I might I might have at these. So uh, thumbs up from me. It's, it, it, this is definitely not gonna be my favorite, but it's okay. Mm, is it okay? All right. All right. We could go for more chips. We could. We've got so many options here to go from. I I never know what the best. Ooh. That's something I was hoping. For. This looks like. Okay, um, Vidal, or Vital, um, is the brand. It's Gummy Spicy Mangoes. Just open it all the way down the side. Mm -hmm. So mixing the spicy with the gummy, I'm a little nervous about this. It smells um, really good, though. But since the, uh, <laughs> since the incident with the habanero, I feel like nothing can touch me. So, we'll see how it goes. All right. Hmm. Okay, I'm I'm get good. I'm getting a little spice. It, it's not too bad. I think the sweetness makes it pretty easy to deal with. It 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 feels like it's relatively mild anyway. There's, there's a kind of spice there that I can't quite put my finger on. It, no, it, that, that's a lot like habanero spice. Oh, okay. That's my trauma. Um, it doesn't say it on here, though. Well, I don't dislike it. I am I guess I prefer my gummies to just be sweet for the sake of sweet. I mean, mixing the heat, and it, I'm not opposed to it, but I don't know if it improves it for me. I like it a lot. You like it? Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's good. I like it better, I 
think, than the egg chips so far. So I guess this would be my, my new favorite among mm -hmm. them. So you want to keep picking? Sure. I can, uh, I can give you that job. That, that can be the you thing to do. I, I don't ever really know what to pick in what order. <laughs> Just make sure if we get gum, we do that last. All right, we got Bocaditos. Limon, so lemon, lemon cookie. They, they just look like uh, kind of crackers. Ritz crackers, yeah. Hmm. Um, I could see that being all right. Uh, do the opening, doing mm, the the, the honors and such. Yeah, that that's one of the things with these videos. Um, we don't know if these are like that one's not. Hmm, yeah. if these are always in prime shape, like with the. Uh, it's called the Jaffa Cakes from the first one. Uh, I found out that what we got was uh, uh, a quite abused Jaffa Cake. So, uh, but these look good. They, they look like they're in fine shape. So, let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's good. This is now my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Lemon flavor is very fashionable these days. I like it. I've, I've, I've been seeing it more lately. I don't know, like the limoncello things that we see at the uh, mm -hmm. the grocery store everywhere we go, everything's limoncello flavor. And it, I, I don't know, it just seems fashionable right now. So this this feels like it works. This is my, my favorite now. I don't know how this ranks for you. The gummies, spicy mango. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like spicy. All right, another attempt at me pronouncing something. Fini, is that what it is? F I N I. Uh, bricks, ladrillos, ladrillos. It's two L's, so it would be like a eos, right? I I took like five Spanish classes and didn't really learn anything. <laughs> Um, that's what happens when you study to the test and you don't study something for the sake of studying. What studying? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. There you go. Um, I am not sure what this is. Are these on our little cheat sheet here? Okay. Chewy strawberry gummies coated in sour sugar and filled with a mild sweet cream throughout their brick shape center. Okay. Uh, that that's about what I expected. I, I have high expectations for this one, actually. This this looks like the type of thing I would get. I like that I just put the whole thing in and you just do a little sample. <laughs> I've not finished a single thing. Hmm. <laughs> I love that. That's really good. I I really love that. Um. I I think these are just getting better. For me, I I know you didn't like the uh the lemon cookie things like a lot. as much as you like the mango things but like for me every single one has just gotten better than the last which is uh fun it makes me wonder when we're gonna top out when when do we uh when do we get the first disappointment <laughs> um yeah i i really like that uh, something about the texture is uh really good some gummies uh are tough Th those were not too tough they were they were the right texture okay what are we gonna have? Alright. Here you just wrap up another thing of chips. Oh. oh. So it's ruffles. I, I know ruffles. Mm -hmm. That that's that's familiar. Um is this the first brand that we are familiar with here? Like I, I don't recognize any of the I have heard of the Vidal. Vidal, yeah. But I never I, had any. I don't know them. This is the first one that actually is just uh a different version of a brand that I'm familiar with. You're here for the crunchies. <laughs> what kind of shape are they in? Very good, actually. I'm just... Oh, got a big one. Mm. Hmm. What flavor is this? Ham. Hamon. Duh. A national favorite in Spain, these wavy potato chips feature the salty and savory flavor of the revered Spanish ham. Hmm. Okay. Uh, these are good. These are really good. I don't know if it beats that last one for me, but this is... It's way better than the last chips we had. Mm -hmm. 
Although the other ones were a more interesting experience. This doesn't feel like too out of this world. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is a chip I could see myself buying around here though i don't know if we have a very close equivalent it's like a not a surprising flavor and the closest would be probably a bacon flavor hmm yeah, like bacon cheddar i feel very fortunate to be experiencing this <laughs> oh you're gonna like this Ooh. one oh wafers mm -hmm. I, they, they call me wafer mcgee um <laughs> Uh, that my favorite thing last time was a wafer. So Mavel, 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 uh, Toron, Vienna. They date back to 1935. They've been around. Um, so it's a wafer cookie thing. It seems to be covered in chocolate. I'm not getting any uh, nougat. Nougat. That's that's what the center stuff is. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna do this wrong if I try it. Can you just like I feel like I'm gonna make a mess or crush the cookie. I I don't wanna. I'm not a very, uh, delicate thing opener. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Hmm. All right. I'm ready. Mmm. That is a wafer cookie. Pretty good. That is exactly what a wafer cookie is. Just covered in chocolate pretty much it's really good and i don't want to downplay the nougat but i thought it would stand out more than it does it feels like besides it feels like the chocolate stands out more than the nougat to me mm -hmm. um which is slightly disappointing but i love me a good wafer cookie and this uh this definitely does the job um mm -hmm. i still think the gummy things are my favorite but uh, i'll probably uh Take another dip into these. <laughs> I don't want to try. Okay, I can get. <laughs> yeah, I. Um, okay, the brand is Aspil. 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 Um. Uh. The. Uh. It. Okay. Let me just put it up to the camera first, so you can uh, take your best shot at that. Uh. Zispasos. Zispasos. Sabor Electrico Sta Snacks de Maize. <laughs> uh, okay, so they're made of corn. Okay. Oh, oh, maize, maize, yeah. maize. Ma uh, that, that's that's good thinking there. You you didn't even take much Spanish. I took two years and I failed the second one. But you know Spanish better than I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're spicy cheese flavored. Is there a little rip thing that I'm supposed to go by? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Mm. Oh, I like that. I haven't even bit into it yet. I'm just tasting the flavor. And, uh, that's good. That's the type of flavor I want with my spicy. Unlike the mango things. And Where the mango the things spice? are still good. It's very, it's mild. It's it's very mild, but it's, it's definitely there. I'm not getting it. <laughs> this is a weak person's expectations for spice. Um, we we are strong. We can handle the spice. No, you can't. No, I can't. Um. So you you've made all the calls so far. I don't want to accidentally pick the one you wanted to save for the end. We got. Ooh. Oh, I I like whatever this um, is. <laughs> I think that says. Oh no, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I'll 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 do this part. You you you've done your job very well. I'll try to do mine. I know that cereal. Okay, we got. White chocolate. Gaeta con cereales y arandanos. Done. No, it's just Donna. Ah, uh, uh, here, here you go. Cereal cookies <laughs> with blueberries. Yeah, that that actually, the and picture. White chocolate. The picture looks very appealing. Oh. Oh wait. Well, it says exactly what it is down here. White chocolate, semi-covered berries, and cereal mini biscuit. Uh, the the biscuits. 
in the picture look pretty good. <laughs> uh, the, they they look very appealing. I just don't know. Uh, is it going to translate well to the? Oh, I I thought it was like a sandwich cookie, and things would be like between two of them, but it just kind of sure coats the side. bottom of it, which that's fine. I'm down. It's not super crunchy. It's kind of a melt in your mouth sort of chew. It, it, mm -hmm. When you bite, it has a very small amount of biting back, you know? And that's kind of what I was hoping for when I saw the pictures. I'm like, that looks like kind of a softer cookie. And I'm a fan of soft cookies. Uh, some people like their cookies crunchy. I, I, I prefer them to be a little bit soft. This is like something in between, but leaning towards soft. How's, how's that one for you? Very good. Have you updated your favorite since the mangoes? This might be. Might. Oh. Might still be the mango. Hmm. You can have the mangoes. <laughs> I, I'm good on the mangoes. They're, they're fine, but uh, you, you can definitely uh, have at those all you want, and I, I, I won't be upset to have missed out on them. They're, they're, they are merely okay for me. <laughs> and we got the little sucky candies, um, as I frequently call them. Um, I want you to figure out what flavor. What is that? Can I read it? <laughs> yeah. It, is that allowed? Yeah. Um, Mont Grasa. I, I don't know. Is this some sort of a... It's not on there. I don't, I don't know what that is. Is this a picture of what it's supposed to be? No, it's a picture of the candy. Hmm. It... It, it looks like it should be squishy, but it's hard. Mm, you can squeeze it. Yeah. You can crack it open. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, is it filled with something? It's gummy in the middle. Ooh. Um, okay, we'll mm. give it a shot. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> you, uh, well, you've tasted it now, so. <laughs> I already read what it is. I bet you did. You'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, yeah. I like these. Yeah, well. Little cherry candies. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's cute. It's cute. I like it. Um, yeah, as far as like the sweet candies go, that that's that is quite pleasant. Mm -hmm. uh, cherry flavor is something that isn't always done super well with candy. Uh, a lot of the time, the flavor comes off as very artificial. This was still a little bit artificial, but I think it's a little better than a lot of the stuff that I have had as far as cherry candy goes. You, you, there are just some fruits that I don't feel like are done justice when they're transformed into candy form. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I've always felt about it. Mm. Oh, I want to check. we gotta consult the chart. What is that? Mm. I am interested <laughs> in whatever that is. <laughs> we, oh yeah, this, I've, been, I've been eyeing this up. I, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, Du Dulcesol Palmaris. A crunchy puff pastry topped with a deliciously sweet sugar glaze. Try one with your cafe con leche. Uh, I know that one. That's uh, better. That's coffee with milk. We uh, definitely have something like this oh, around ooh. here. Here you go. You want that piece? I'll, I'll take the little crusty end bit. <laughs> Hmm. There you go. Yeah, I think I need a more middly piece. I don't know if this is the best uh, example of it. Just eating the crust and judging it by that feels a little unfair to the product. Ooh. Oh. The packaging is biodegradable. Hmm. That was that was all right. Um. I don't have very f strong feelings about that at all. Mm -mm. Would you have it with your cafe con leche? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that would be it, really good with some coffee. Is, is it designed for that? Is that the flaw here at, as a non-coffee drinker to someone who you drink sometimes tea. drinks coffee? Right, black mm. tea with milk. That would be good. Yeah, I don't really do milk tea. Most of the tea I have is pretty much juice. Mm. <laughs> so I don't know if it translates really good with very well. A chai? It would be really good with coffee. I only drink my coffee black usually, though. Hmm. So, 
Sorry, no cafe con leche. <laughs> no cafe con leche. Uh, I only know that because I, I uh, listened to In the Heights. I, I would like to say that I would know it otherwise. I would know cafe, I might not know leche, but In the Heights they have this part like, I have cafe but no con leche! And, and it, it just sticks in my head, just the way he said it, mm -hmm. just completely uh, befuddled. I don't know what to do. Oh, this is uh, from the Feeny brand that did the little, little red gummy guys we have there, but this is like in a roll form. Um, Feeny Roller Fizz. Okay. So I'd imagine the texture of the little gummy roll thing here that she's opening, uh, it looks about the same as, uh, as the texture on the brick things. It's like that, but it doesn't have seemingly the, uh, the little cream part in the middle. I don't know if it's going to, ooh. That, <laughs> it looks like, uh, it's a little tougher. Um, being in roll form, so we'll see if that changes. Uh, you know, it still it's feels not. feels it's pretty soft. Ripping it apart is uh... maybe maybe because it was like stuck together, it made it seem like it was tougher than it was. Uh, but I expect this to be not, not too much different. So the gummy part is a lot like this, but it seems like they layer on like the sour crystal things a little bit heavier. I kind of like the texture of uh, the roll, just something about having it in that it, is it weird to say it, it's like crispier? <laughs> I know that's not the right term, it's, but. It has more sugar, so the sugar is crunchy. I, I'm thinking like something about like the ends, the end pieces of it just feel like they're a little tougher than the stuff in the middle. I, I, I don't know. Overall, it's not that much different. I'd, I'd probably pick this first. But it's not bad, and I, I really like that, and I might, I, I'll certainly return to it. Um, how much do we have left? Do we got one more? We have one thing left. Man, we've, we've rolled through this one. <laughs> this one's, uh... Oh, what? It's, uh, is this another wafer cookie? It's a white chocolate wafer, oh. yeah. Oh, Ambrosia's Terma. That's what it says. Oh, Terma is the brand. T-I-R-M-A. Ambrosia's Terma. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know. Here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's smaller than the other one. Yeah. Man, this one might be to be shy of 30 minutes. We'll see. We got our conclusions to make and such anyway. Um... Drag this out. We need to put in three or four more mid rolls. We're getting there. I have a feeling this one's not going to last very long. Um, so I, I guess we could uh, compare this to uh, I don't know where the other one. The other one's over here. Uh, we had the uh, the nougat one with the chocolate. I I don't know if it's going to be better or worse. Like I like the taste of white chocolate. I know there's some people who just it just doesn't appeal to them. Um, I always enjoyed that, so I, I'd imagine I'd like this a little bit more. Um, Why does it smell like coconut? Uh, maybe there's something coconutty in it. Grated coconut. Oh, cool. Is mm -hmm. that all in Spanish? Did you just figure that no, out? No, no, they have English, Spanish, French. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not that I'm doubting you, but I, I, it was just impressive. <laughs> So this one's good. Um, it, it, it's one of my favorites that we've had here. I don't know if it's gonna be my favorite. Weirdly enough, I think I liked the previous coconut wafer thing that we had from the uh, uh, Thailand video. I think I might've liked that more. This one's really, 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 really good though. Uh, but something about that one stuck out more to me. Uh, I enjoy the white chocolate. I like that it's a little bit melted because it's been sitting there for a little bit and I kind of like uh, the the chocolate coating around it being a little bit melty. It's kind of pleasant. I think the melty texture is great with white chocolate. So I, I, that, I know that's not like its natural state. It's not supposed to be like that, but I think that improved the experience for me. Um, yeah. 
It's really good. Really good. Okay. Probably second place for me. Second place. So at this stage, we uh, get to pick our favorite. And if we want, uh, we can keep our favorite to ourselves. Um, and I, I think that's fair. Um, and I will. <laughs> and you will. Um, would you like to go first, or do you want me to go first? Really? That is so strange to me. I, I am glad, because it feels like I'm not at a loss here. I love spicy. The, the spice is... I'm gonna revisit this because it's like mild. This is this but. is this is odd. I'm gonna take this one. I looked smaller, but now it's the same size as all the others. I, I, I want to give this one more shot because I feel like I'm missing what you're saying in this. Hmm. Mm. Like it's good. I just don't, I just don't get you. I don't, I, I just don't know how it uh, compares to some of these. First, and then the white chocolate wafer second, and third mm. is the, what seems like rich crackers with lemon. Oh, so you are uh, leaning sweet today, rather than savory, and I, I'm and savory, we I'm got thinking about that. ham chips. Egg chips, like we can make a breakfast sandwich out of them. I really like the ham chips. I thought they were really good. I, while not necessarily surprising, and I think that might be one of the things that works against it because I want to be surprised by these. If I could get a chip that's comparable at the gas station down the street, it's not going to be as impressive. But I think the ham chips were really good. Um, I guess I'll, I'll take the little gummy guys with the. Uh, the creamy stuff in the middle. I, I, I think that's always fun. This feels like something I would bring to the movies. <laughs> um, yeah, so th that, that's my number one. Um, but I think my number two is the, uh, is the ham chips. Uh, not as surprising, but pretty, 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 pretty darn good. <laughs> hmm. So I really, uh, I enjoyed this one. I thought this one was really good. I enjoyed the last one and the one before it too. Just being able to go through a bunch of snacks is uh, incredibly fun. Uh, experiencing different things is always a whole lot of fun. Um, do you have a favorite crate so far? Now that we have three examples, do, do you have a crate to beat? I think I liked pretty much everything in this one. Everything in this one's good, yeah. Except the stupid egg chip. <laughs> <laughs> and the egg chip wasn't even that bad to me. It was just weird. Um, I bit into it and it's just like... Egg. I'll tell you... At, I'll, I guess I'll give my opinion first. You can think about yours. Um, I think this one, just as far as quality of snack, is my favorite. They, I, they're no duds for me. I enjoyed every single thing here to a degree, and if you gave me any of them, I would eat them. Um, I agree. Is it as good of a snack crate experience as the others? Because sometimes I like to have at least one thing that I don't like in it, just kind of as a part of the experience. I feel like I'm supposed to like some things and not like some things. So maybe it's not the most exciting of snack crate experiences in that sense, but that doesn't mean it's not a darn good snack crate. I... I I'm thinking Spain is uh, is my number one right now. I agree that they're all good, except the egg is weird. <laughs> I could eat them, but they're weird. But the first one helped me learn about the double decker chocolate bar, mm. and that's my favorite chocolate bar now. Mm. Yeah, uh, she. We we were at a, a mall and we went into a candy store and she was looking around for the double decker. You didn't have it. Uh, so the UK, it uh, it holds a special place for you. That doesn't necessarily mean it's your favorite, but it it's the one that's impacted you the most, I suppose. <laughs> In a really weird way, yeah. Hmm. Oh, but those pumpkin chips in the last one oh, are really those good too. Oh, pumpkin chips are really good. Can I take one more? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I took one more of those, so that's absolutely fair. Um, mm -hmm. 
So the camera just died. Um, it overheated as it does with any time I try to record anything long on here. Uh, so we're going to try to make this outro quick. But you had a question just as it was uh, cutting you off. What's been your favorite snack out of all the boxes so far? And it, it, it's weird. Like my favorite in this one were, were those gummy things that you just put away. Um, right. But it's weird that my favorite out of all of them was from the last crate and it was the coconut wafer thing mm -hmm. because like I, I've said in the past that like I'm not a big coconut person so that that really defied my expectations but it was really 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 good so I would say that's my favorite but my favorites from the last box uh but this is my favorite overall box mm -hmm. and I'm sorry to the United Kingdom that was fine it, it, that was fine too. I I enjoyed that too, but it's un it, it's unfortunate that they're at the bottom right now, for me. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of people from the UK who watch the channel too, so that's especially disappointing. I don't think there's that many from Spain, so I have no horse in that race. Uh, so I'm not pandering. You can you definitely know that. Um, so I I guess we're done. I'm I'm surprised it went as quickly as it did. Th this was a smooth eating experience. I had fun. All right. So thank you, every everybody. Leave thanks to Bird Mom for gracing us with her presence today. If you want to join the Discord, she's on there. Uh, links in the description. Uh, everybody be nice on there, or she'll destroy you. Um, and that's about it. So we're gonna be doing more snack crates every month and uh we hope that you join us again so thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow with the next video bye say bye <laughs>